G'day LEGO fans, today I'm going to show you these portals I built which are, because I'm a big sci-fi nerd if I'm honest, I love the concept of being able to get from one point to another really really quickly and I built this one years ago and I've kind of went and revisited it and modified it and added lots to it which I'll come back to and then I thought it's so much fun I'm going to build a few more I might build another one as well which we'll talk about in a minute so I added this one here and this one here so I'm going to show you each of them in turn uh, and and sort of the inspiration as to what each one is there I'm really happy with them they're a lot of fun and I'm going to put them in various places in the city um, because who doesn't like portal things i mean they're in like games like doom they're in stargate the tv series incidentally go and check out captain mutants um submission to lego ideas which is linked up in the corner now highly 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 recommended please go vote for it if you're a fan of stargate and you haven't already gonna start by showing you the oldest one and as you can see it's become a bit run down since I built it the the jungle forest has really come along and overgrown everything it's looking very very run down <laughs> like how we've got this railing here that's completely detached and growing at an angle now the vines have reclaimed it there pulling it away from the the main ramp up onto the portal and we've got vines and things growing out all over the place here this one is going to take some work i'm not sure if this one still works and if you were to use it i'm not entirely sure you would get to where you want to be it does look like the doom guy may have been through here as well i put this one in here just as a sort of little reference to 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 the doom guy yeah i thought yeah this carnage here this might be quite a good spot for him to have, have come through and <laughs> I built this this turn um, the controller for it which is inspired by the Stargate one in this instance hasn't changed much other than we've got a sort of biscuit piece in the middle there and handcuffs behind this this is actually a, a bike wheel piece holding this in so around the back you can see how a few things have popped out like this has popped out where the the vines have been growing and been growing off the back of it here there's not a lot to actually see on the back of this i really made the focus around the front here but i just really do like how vibrant and natural this one looks this i had a lot of fun doing this with tiles popping off all over the place and things like that it, it just really was <laughs> you can imagine them going to a you know these portals just being used and then just forgotten about for whatever reason as as happened in the stargate tv show they did go through a few portals that were not used very often and in fact didn't work very well this was the second portal i built and i was trying to very much get a sort of ninjago slash japanese feel to it because i love japan and that's why we've got the the gates here going through into the temple like into the portal like it's kind of worshipped by people we've got the lanterns as well going up the side there towards us if this is like some kind of sacred place to be i built these pots as well down here because i just kind of really wanted to make it feel like this kind of special place but then over here on this side we've got gj bricks and and dr mcbrick having a a bite to eat at the little cafe there so trying to get that kind of hustle bustle feel of sort of japanese as well get a bit of food in there and i'd always wanted to build a little stall like this now cramming it all onto this into this 16 by 16 base plate was not easy as you can see it's quite well loaded up but i think it's actually well loaded up and you can see i put these colored bricks underneath the tiles here because i i just I like that. I just wanted to get that little touch of colour in there. It's, it's a shame you don't really see it unless I do that. But I just really liked it. And these chevron pieces are one of my favourite pieces. I just love them. I'd use them so much if I could. But then you can see the portal here. Slightly different to the last one. Uh, in that I've got this sort of better finish here. I This was what I was saying about how I evolved the design of it a bit. So again, this one's got the three lights on it as well. So I'm not sure sort of if this is a more modern one or something else is going on here or perhaps it goes to different places, who knows. But I just, I'm really happy with how this looks. Like it really is a good little scene here. 
everything just crammed into that place and this is probably one of the most compact builds that I've done and I'm very happy with it especially how the gate looks going into the whole thing and here's the last one I did can you see what it's based off of yep the video game portal I am a huge fan of portal and for the purposes of this one, I did actually go slightly outside the 16 by 16 base plate because I really felt it was important to get these walls in that have, you can see the whole thing's fallen apart from Gladys's demise. Everything's gone into disrepair. We've got the camera up here watching everything. Here's our standard portal. And then we've got Beaker and Professor Bunsen Honeydew here looking like they might be trying to repair something they found in the labs that might possibly that no don't that's gladys don't fix that guys that's a really bad idea really bad idea but this was really fun because i got to build little things like sentry gun they can not an easy build i'll show you how i did this one in another one not complicated but just hard to get to look kind of like it is the sentry gun and We've got everything just run down with leaves growing out underneath. We've got tiles that haven't quite gone into place. We've got the the um, tests with the blue lights here linking together with the red button that you have to press. Got GLaDOS down here in pieces being mended by Beaker and uh, Professor Bunsen Honeydew. And we've also got a cube back here as well. And this is just a, a plain cube because I don't have any stickers I could put on it at the time. But this is meant to be one of the companion cubes. And I just, I love Portal. It is one of my favourite games I have gone back to numerous times. If you haven't played Portal 2, you're missing out because it's even better than Portal 1, which was a phenomenal game. But yeah, cracking all this into here, I tried to get the really key elements of the whole game, the whole sort of feel of... of of portal which was this disrepair this this sort of crazy lab that is testing you and doing dangerous things and i think i achieved it very very nicely with this one very very happy with how it looks as a whole the the whole composition of the scene is just right i think i possibly could have crammed a few more details on there if you've got any suggestions i'm more than happy for you to tell me and i can action those you can see I ran out of a couple of colored parts as well there as I go through, but I'm not going to point those out. But yeah, just sort of cramming in this whole cobbled together test path that hasn't quite worked. I'm very happy with it. I love this. this. This one made me chuckle when I did it, especially having these two characters in here was absolutely perfect. Perfect use for them, I reckon. Getting the Muppets in there. <laughs> So there you have it, there is my three portals and I'm going to start by asking you a question that I want you to answer in the comments, which is, if I was to build a fourth one, what would the theme be? Ah, I've got numerous ideas, it could go in my city, it could just be a shelf stopper. I just tried to stick to the 16 by 16 base plate, which is easier said than done in some cases as demonstrated by the lab one here. But yeah, love to know your thoughts in the comments about these. And I'd like to know if you'd like me to show you how to build one of these. And if so, which one would you like me to show you? Because they've all got different styles and different techniques. But the portal itself is the same fundamentally between each one. That was one of my whole reasons for doing it. This one is the oldest and simplest. And then these two are both slightly modified on that one to have different features and slightly different finishes. Now I'm going to ask you to give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. Uh, it does help my channel, it helps my videos. And to hit that magic subscribe button if you are not already a follower of my channel. Thank you for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this. And I'm going to show you a couple more videos I think you will enjoy. I'll see you again very, very soon.